Okay, so, turns out this is now part four video. Um, wasn't one I intended to do, but I kind of think I'm just going to get a lot of unimaginable grief. So I'm just going to do the pull the plug scenario. Um, I've been mentioning throughout that in um, video one, I created a Windows cluster. Um, video two, I put a SQL cluster on it. Video three, I did availability groups. And in all cases, I've just used two nodes in my cluster. Now I'm fine with that just for a bit of a setup and playing with it, but um, it does mean you can't do the pull the plug scenario. So basically, um, because of the quorum and the way they vote, the votes work, if you've got two nodes, they've got to vote each, and you need more than 50% of votes in order to flip between one machine and another. So if you've got two nodes, they've got one vote each, they've got 50% each, not more than 50% each, which basically means that if you just pull the plug and one just goes down, the other one can't take over, okay, because it doesn't have enough votes to say, oh, I need to take over now. So automatic failover doesn't work if you do the pull the plug scenario. So all of my demos have been kind of me telling it to go, move everything from this node to this node, please. Or my availability group and just kind of going, move it from this one to this one, please. So um, yeah, I've decided I will just do the pull the plug one. So um, I will add in a file share to my cluster. So you can see here I've got my cluster. Um, I've got many roles. Um, you can see that I've got my SQL cluster running on node one, um, one of my availability groups running on node one, and one of my availability groups running on node two. And you can see that um, in nodes, I only have two nodes, they've got one vote each, so pull the plug doesn't work. Okay, so if I actually go over to, um, if I go over to my um, Active Directory server, um, this is the PowerShell I was using in my other videos just to kind of check basically that systems were live. So if I start running this to my availability group, um, if I kind of make this a bit smaller and bring it over here, I should be able to run the same thing. Um, for my cluster, uh, SQL cluster 2019A, I believe. Let's give that a go. Yep. Okay. So, um, so our cluster and our availability group. Um, these are both pointing currently to um, node A1. Okay. So they're all set to automatic failover. Um, and yeah, so the idea is that we should just be able to do kind of pull the plug. So if I go over here and just hit power off, um, the idea is everything should fail over, but that won't work um, because of the whole, um, there we go, so that's powered off. And we don't have automatic failover purely because of the voting mechanism, okay? The whole thing collapses horribly. Now I can just kind of leave this for a bit because we know that availability groups takes about eight-ish seconds to um, come back online. Um, and um, clusters take probably about 25-ish seconds. Um, but what you'll find is that this will just catastrophically fail. Um, this will not come back. I mean, you can see it's, it's struggling. Okay, that's not coming back. And that's because the cluster cannot auto fail over. The cluster is now basically dead. Your cluster's down. Okay, not what you want. Um, so I'm going to have to go back here and reboot this machine. So I'm going to have to boot this back on again and hope that it all comes up without massive errors because obviously I've just pumped the um, power cord. But to be fair, I wasn't doing any updates or anything funky with the databases. So everything should just come back up nicely. Um, yet yeah, we've got our little, what happened? Why did these things happen? Um, okay, so everything should hopefully come back up and I should be able to go down to here and do... I love cluster manager and hopefully we will be able to reconnect to our cluster. Um, okay, yeah, you can see there's a few issues with the cluster, but hopefully everything will be back online. Okay, so everything's now running again, okay? So the, so the SQL server has come back up, but it's now come back up on the other node because of the collapse. That's fair enough. I don't mind that happening. Um, you can see we've now got errors basically just saying, whoa, something bad happened. Um, and yeah, the cluster service is shutting down because Quorum was lost. Okay, so the whole cluster just went down. 
um, so let's get rid of those. So I'm now going to actually move this um, onto the other node just so that we've got it back to how it was previously. So if I click down here, we should be able to see all of these going off and coming back on again. Good old cluster failover. Like I said, it's about 25-ish seconds for this whole thing to go off and back on again. Okay, so that's now back up and running and we're now back on A1. Um, if I go over to here, these should now be success again. You can see this one had the blip where I've just done the manual failover again. But everything is now succeeding. Okay, the world is good. Yep, so I'm going to leave these running in the background because they don't hurt anybody. So what I'm now going to do is add the um, file share witness to my cluster. So I'm actually going to put the file share. You need it outside of the cluster because otherwise it's a pretty useless witness. So I'm going to create it on my um, Windows Active Directory server. Now, um, we're going to have to set up um, firewall, and we're going to have to add in, or just make sure it's there. I mean, I don't know if it's there or not, so I'm going to add it anyway. Um, we need um, port 445 to be open um, on the share machine. Um, so 445, um, uh, that's just going to be my share. Um, I'll put it as QShare. And our rules. Same thing, port uh, 445, allow, go, go, and Q share. Okay, so hopefully now we should be able to connect to that from the outside world. So I'm going to go over to my cluster, and then I'm going to right click the actual cluster itself, more actions, configure cluster quorum settings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to say, okay, I want a um, quorum witness. And I'm going to configure a file share witness. Okay. Now, file share path. Um, I actually want that to be on my Active Directory server. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to my Active Directory server. It says no shared found. That's fine. I'm going to create a new one. So I'm just going to call it um, Corwin. And this can just go in the C drive. That is absolutely fine by me. So that can just go in the C drive. And all users have read-only permissions, that's fine. I'm going to say administrators have full access, that's fine. Okay, so now we should be able to do that. Hit next, hit next, and finish. Now what we should have is our two nodes. But now we actually have, um, down here you can see a file share witness. Okay, so now this should actually have um, a vote of its own. And because this now has a vote, we now have three votes across our entire cluster. So you can see that everything is back on A1 again as it was before. Um, over here, we've still got a little power shells running away. Um, I'm now going to go over here and actually do the pull the plug scenario. And this time, what we should have is a failover. So I've now pulled the plug on that. Everything here should start to fail quite badly. There we go. Everything has now failed. And because we now have the extra vote, um, what we should be able to do is hopefully see that the um, voting mechanism kicks in and everything should flip to the other node and start running again. There we go. The availability group has now kicked in. Um, it did take about 30 odd seconds um, and now the cluster is kicked in as well. Okay, so you can see that actually my node is still off. Um, however, everything has now kicked back in. And if I go over to node two and boot up failover cluster manager on this, we should see that now everything has, um, whoops, let's make this properly big. There we go, and connect to a cluster. And we're going to connect to um, cluster 2019A. Dot tech test dot local. Okay. And obviously you'll see errors. Um, you just saw it flash up with one node down, um, but that's to be expected. So here we go, go to nodes, you've got one node down, one node is up, and all of the roles are running are running on A2. Okay. So the pull the plug scenario does work 
if you add the extra file sharing as the witness. Okay, so now if you want to do that, go and add your own file sharing, and by doing so, you can now do the good old pull the plug test. Um, and obviously, if I then boot that back up again, that will then rejoin the cluster and the world will come back into a happy thing of butterflies and rainbows and other such stuff. So, um, so there you go. So hopefully that was useful. Um, wasn't a long video, nice and short, but I was just kind of showing the pull the plug um, working. So, yep, and there you go. And as I said before, if you like it, then tick like, comment, whatever. Um, go to our website, visit things. And yeah, I'll see you in another video.